All right, for this install in the uh, 23 VBWRX, we've got one of the F1 brake lights, fog lights, whatever you want to call them. This one's kind of the red on red. First step is to take out <clears throat> this little Phillips head screw and then pop this panel off. Uh, what I ended up doing is just putting a towel on here and taking my edge tool, just kind of popping it in here. A couple of tabs are in here, but I believe there's some um, clips that are part of this panel. So I don't think you want to pull it out this way. I think you want to pivot it so you don't break those, but we'll uh, take this off and check that. Here are those tabs I was talking about on this panel, right here and there. And they, let's see, I think they actually slide into these channels. Sorry, I was pointing the wrong way, but I think they slide into these channels in here. Um, I think I've seen a couple of videos where people have accidentally broken those off, but it comes out real easy. Um, looks like the actual clips are these three guys here that hold it in, but there's nothing replaceable. So if you break these, you pretty much got to replace the panel. Um, the next thing will be to I think take these 10 millimeters out, um, then remove the tail light assembly, come straight back. There's a tab or a peg right here, so you want to pull it straight back rather than trying to take it off at an angle. You'll probably break something if you kind of peeled it away, and we'll pop the connector. This little connector's in the tail light assembly pretty good. I ended up taking my plastic pry tool, pushing down the tab, and using that little hole in there to hook the end of the pry tool to pull it out. I mean, you can see where the, the tab is there. They need to pull, maybe not exactly straight up, but kind of perpendicular to this. So we're gonna go ahead and grab, uh, that's the adapter harness. Here's the actual um, harness that runs down to the light down there, or to the F1. And there's a little cavity back here that I think we can drop it through. I think the first thing we're gonna do is pop the, uh, the plastic. Uh, I think there's four. It may not be a very good light, but right there, there's four of these little plastic tabs. Uh, there's the other guy. Two more on the other side. We're gonna pop those off so we can get this under panel. And then we'll pop this out. I believe there's two tabs up here on the inside that you can push down. This little blank will come out. Quick correction, pulling the tabs out or the push clips just gives you room to um, pull this guy down. Well, it doesn't have this panel come off. So we reached in, uh, released that blank. See again, oops, that's my camera kind of funny. See again the two tabs on the top, so we just reached in and popped those guys and came out pretty easy. Now we're gonna go ahead. There's a, it's hard to see, there's a little hole right here. There's a threaded clip we're gonna put on the inside of the hole, the thread facing towards the middle, um, and we'll fish our wire down. It takes a little bit of flexibility, but you can get your hand up in there. Let's see where I've got the clip. I ran the screw through just to make sure that I got it aligned properly because it's kind of hard to see. So now we'll run the cable down and uh, start to look at putting the light in. See, we got our cable drop down there, wired through. So we'll go ahead and start installing the actual F1 brake light into the car. Um, we gotta tighten this bracket down onto the light. Here's the back. We're gonna cable up the bottom. I believe these are 10 mils as well. Yeah, so we got the bracket on. Tighten these guys down, not too much. It does thread into a metal insert, but it's still in plastic housing. So we'll tighten those guys down. And then we'll run a screw through the one insert we put in there. And then there's a pop clip as well for the opposite side. So the screw, if sitting like this, think about this for a second. Hmm. So this guy needs to be on the outside. Almost thinking we put the bracket on after. Thinking we put the light in. So you put the bracket in. Yeah, let's put the bracket in first because what I'm seeing is um, this. This mounting point right here for the 
that tab, threaded tab. This needs to go on the outside so this we can actually do something. So this is going to be captive on the back and kind of cup this guy. So we'll go ahead and try to mount this guy up. I probably won't be able to get a very good view. So we got the bracket in, pop clip there, screw in. This guy's kind of fun because the bracket keeps wanting to tilt. Um, it's hard to see. There's just, you can see this one. There's these little metal legs there. Be careful. This is some really thin metal. It reminds me of the old brackets for car stereo heads. Um, but anyway, uh, you definitely, uh, there's probably a way to do it with, uh, with having this on the F1 light, but it's much easier to put this guy in first and you can see the two holes where you mount the F1 light. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a dab of Loctite on this guy because it's hard to get a good purchase on it. Um, it's tight enough and I still want it to back out. So I'm gonna put a dab of Loctite in here. One thing with Loctite and plastic, be real careful. Um, it will eat certain types of plastic. So I've just got some touch up brushes I'm gonna use, put a little bit of Loctite on these and just spread it on the threads just for, just for something to keep it from backing out. Okay, I just learned something. This bolt sticking out stops this side from getting in because of that one's tab. So. Get the bolt backed out a little bit. I'll throw a little more Loctite on, pop this guy, and then I'll have to tighten that guy up. So I think you can have one or the other. You can have the tab all the way in or that bolt. So we'll try it now. So we got it in. I uh, put Loctite on the back bolts as well. Just kind of move things around, tightening them up. Um, it's hard to get a good video, but I've got the connector set up right here. I think I'm going to throw a zip tie. See the bracket right there? That's the bracket that the tab mounts into. There's also another hole. I think I'm gonna throw a zip tie right there and kind of hold this from flopping around. Make sure you got the cable on the inside, not under here. And uh, we'll zip tie that guy up and move on to not mating it to the brake lights. Okay, so we got the bottom all buttoned up. <laughs> Hopefully it all works because I didn't do what I should have done. I didn't do a test run, so hopefully. We're all good, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack in this guy and start bundling them up. I think I'll put the adapter on first, see where we're at. I've also got, I can't find it in here now. Somewhere in here, oh, here we go. I've also got some uh, kind of fabric tape for the wire loom to probably wrap around the ends so they don't bang around in there. So we'll go ahead and start connecting these and tidying up. Okay, so here's how I tidied everything up. I wrapped that uh, connection with some automotive fabric tape, zip tied the bundle, and also uh, zip tied the two, sorry, zip tied the bundle together to take up the slack and zip tied the bundle to the little factory harness. So we should be able to, should be good to put the um, taillight assembly back in. Um, we're gonna check back under again, make sure there aren't any lines laying across your exhaust. That'd be kind of bad. Look pretty clear there. And I've already buttoned up the under panel. Let's take a look. I don't see anything funky. So it's zip tied right to here and I took the slack out. So we should be all good. All right, let's put the tail light back in. Okay, everything's back in. You know, check your, check your gaps and your alignment. Make sure it looks similar on each side. Looking pretty good there. Hard to tell 100%, but get a little bit over. Yep, it looks like it's sitting pretty flush. Cap looks good over here. It's all in. Matches up over here. A little bit of a push out on both sides, so that looks right. So we're gonna go ahead, turn on the lights and make sure it works. So we have light. Let's see if I can Set this guy down. I'm gonna pull it off. We'll see if I get lucky. Oh, something worked that way. Can we back here like that? Yeah, we'll try it. See if the brake light works. Let me see. Okay, go check it. All 
right, so I think we're all done. Wasn't too bad. Got a neat little look to it. Um, and here's the part number. I honestly don't remember where I got it from. There's a on the other side. Yeah. But I think I got this one for 90 bucks. I, um, I've seen some on Amazon that the harness uses spades instead of that nice connector. I would spend the extra money and get the one with the connector because it does have a water sealing grommet in it. So anyway, fun little, fun little mod. Um, I'll probably talk about the exhaust that I just had done on a different video, but I did the uh, AWE cat back. It didn't fit so good. Um, I wasn't actually very impressed with the fit, so I took it to a local shop that um, actually does TIG welding. You know, they didn't, so he refit it, um, cut some of the hangers, got it to fit real nice and tight. And you can see the TIG walls there instead of having the slip joint. I used stainless rod. You know, it's a real deal. It's not welding with mild steel that'll rot out. You can see it looks a heck of a lot like the, the factory weld on the AW exhaust. So um, we'll do a video on that. But already down here, so I figured I'd grab a, grab a quick image of it.